Hey, Calibrate Tools family. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about why your miter saw may not be cutting straight. And there could be a couple of reasons for that, but there's also some remedies. So stay tuned, and we'll talk about it right after this. <music> So before you do any maintenance or adjustments on your power tool, you want to make sure that it's unplugged. Always remember, safety first. So one of the main reasons that your miter saw may not be cutting straight is that the fence, this part right here that you put your workpiece up against, is not square with the blade. It's not at a 90 degree angle with the blade. It's not perpendicular to the blade. So in order to square the fence to the blade, you want to pull the saw arm down and you wanna go right here. This is a locking pin here that you can push in and it will keep the saw arm down. Then if your miter table scale indicator, this right here is set at anything other than zero on the scale, then you have to reset it to zero in order to make sure that you get proper measurements to square out your fence and blade. So we wanna set this at zero. The way you do that is you unlock the miter lock handle, this knob right here, and you turn it about half a turn to loosen it, okay? Then you squeeze the release lever and you bring the indicator back to zero. And you lock it in. Okay, so you not only want your fence to be perpendicular to your blade, but you also want your blade to be perpendicular to your miter table. So in order to check that, you wanna check your bevel settings. So let's look at that. This is our bevel setting indicator right here and it's set at zero, but what if it's not set at zero? What if it's set at 15 or 30 or 45? Well, in order to set it back at zero, you wanna loosen the bevel lock knob, this right here, and set the indicator back to zero by pulling it to the left. Then tighten the bevel lock knob. Now the blade is also perpendicular to the miter table. Then you wanna take a flat square like this one and place one leg of the square against the fence and one leg against the blade. And then look to see if there's any unparalleled spaces between the two. The square is parallel against the blade. If it wasn't, you would have a space like this. See that? or like this, like that. With the fence, everything is parallel. There's no unparalleled spaces. If it was inaccurate, if it was off, then you'd have maybe a space something like, like that or like that. But everything looks pretty square. Now in the case of the fence not being aligned or square with your square, meaning that it's not aligned or square with the blade, then you can adjust the fence as well. The first thing you have to do is move the partial sliding miter fence, this right here, out of the way to access the screws to the main fence. So you loosen the screw on the partial miter fence and you slide it out of the way. Now you have access to these screws here. Then you wanna take an Allen key because that's what these screws require and loosen these. But you also have two on the other side that you have to loosen. By the way, these do come with their own socket wrenches. So you have to loosen the screws on this side as well. You don't have to take the screws all the way out. They just have to be loose enough to allow the fence to have enough play to align itself with the square. Then once it's aligned, just tighten the screws and you'll be fine. 
By the way, if you don't have one of these, a speed square will do just fine. Just lift this shield up, take this portion of the speed square and slip it into the slot here and you can get the same results. Now to check if the blade is square with the miter table, even though we set it at zero, you can take a combination square and put it up against the blade and the table. That won't work that way, right? This combination square is too big. So what I do in this case, I take this part of the combination square off and I place it like this. This portion against the miter table and this portion against the blade. This is a perfect 90 degree angle here. There's no unparalleled space between the miter table and the square, and there's no unparalleled space between the blade and the square. That's also a good profile to look at it from. Everything looks square. Now, another major reason why your miter saw may not be cutting straight is simply because the blade itself is warped. Believe it or not, metal can get warped with enough heat applied to it, enough uh, resistance applied to it. Over time, it can get bent or warped. It may be imperceptible to the naked eye, but metal can get warped even slightly, and even that slight warp in the metal can cause the line, the cut line, to be off or inaccurate. So it's always good to check your blade, especially if you had it on your miter saw for a long time, to check to see if it's not the blade causing the problems. Try putting a straight edge up against the blade just to see with your eyes if there's any deviance from the straight edge. Turn the blade about 360 degrees to see if you have any kind of deviance there. And if there is a perceptible deviance, then most likely the blade is part of the problem. The next thing that you want to consider when your miter saw is not cutting straight is that even a brand new miter saw may be defective or out of alignment due to a rough ride during shipping or delivery. You know, things fall, things break, things bump into each other and they can throw some of the adjustments on the miter saw off. For instance, you have pivot adjustments that determine the physics of the miter saw, whether it's at zero degrees or whether the saw arm works properly. For instance, if you pull the saw arm down and it doesn't go up automatically by itself without your help, then obviously there's something wrong. And then you have lock nuts right here, and then you have another one Here, for the bevel cuts, those things can be out of adjustment as well. The miter gauges, the bevel gauges, they can be out of alignment or out of adjustment because, like I said, of a rough ride or just faulty from the factory, period. You can make some adjustments if you consult your owner's manual, but if it's something that you can't fix, you can take it to your authorized dealer or service center and have them look at it. Okay, another issue when it comes to your miter saw cutting straight or not is how steady is your workpiece on the miter table. So a lot of times we throw our workpiece or material onto the miter table and we bring the saw arm down, not knowing that vibrations can cause the workpiece to shift out of place, even though we don't see it. And then we look at the workpiece after it's cut and wonder why it's not straight. This particular miter saw has a clamp built in to help you Keep your workpiece down, okay? And you also want to make sure that you push it all the way up against the fence, right? To make sure that you get that straight cut. So something as simple as clamping your workpiece down, whether it's with this or even a couple of these to fasten the workpiece onto the miter table. Uh, in this case, you probably open this all the way up and use this to fasten the uh, workpiece to the fence back here, whatever you have to do to keep the workpiece stable, 
okay? Use this if it comes with this on your miter saw. That's what it's there for. Okay, so a miter saw can be your best friend out there in the field or whatever you're doing, DIY around the house. But just like your favorite car, it needs a tune-up every now and then. So pay attention to it. Check it out. See if everything's working okay. If everything's adjusted. Check out the blade. Check out the lock knobs. Check everything out. And you should be okay. If you like the video, give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe as well. I'll see you guys next time.